Okay, so would you be able to explain at all uh, what, Zionism, what Zionism is? I don't know much about Zionism, but I know one thing, that I definitely support Israel. I'm fully in support of Israel, without doubt. As a matter of fact, <laughs> but you even know it. But I want to tell you this. Can we get this on camera? Yeah. If we can. I love the Jewish people. I really, really I've just come back from Israel, as a matter of fact. I spent a bit of time in Tiberias and in Jerusalem. Um, I went over to the West Bank where there was a big red sign about five feet where it said entry to Palad uh, to Israelis, enter at your own risk, your life's in danger, blah blah. Whereas Israel gives the Palestinians this, that right in Israel, in Jerusalem, but they don't give it in the part they've claimed. I don't understand that. But nevertheless, I know one thing, that Israel is for the Jews. Zionism is the belief that the Jewish nation have the right to political self-determination, political autonomy in their ancestral homeland of Israel. No, like, uh, the Jews. I know Zionism is about, about conquering the world. Well, to me, the the context I hear Zionism used the most in is uh, in conspiracy theorists when they're trying to, well, in, in racist conspiracy theories that are trying to sound less racist and uh, dehumanise the people that maybe they're quite derogatory towards. And I'm hoping that I'm not offending anyone by saying this, because uh, I'm sure that Zionism is a lot deeper than that and there is a thing around it and a real belief system behind it that is not related to any of these conspiracy theories that I'm talking about. But that's just the context that I hear the word Zionism in. So from what I've heard, Zionism, from I have a lot of um, Muslim friends and they do kind of talk about Zionism quite a lot. From what I've heard from them, they think it's all to do with kind of the US and Israel like working together and kind of to the Rothschild family and owning the direct banking system and then just kind of always controlling the media, controlling the government and kind of always almost like ruling everything that goes on in the world and they think kind of they're kind of oppressing everybody else kind of and just yeah they, they, they explain them as really bad people and people that they want to kind of eradicate from what goes on in the world. Uh, Zionism would, generally speaking, be the belief in a Jewish homeland that is mostly or exclusively Jewish and the bringing together of a larger Jewish community. Um, have you ever met a Zionist? Yes. <laughs> and do you support the idea of a Jewish homeland? I think that that's a very loaded question. Do you accept Israel's right to exist as a Jewish homeland as it describes itself? Uh, I accept the right for the Jewish people to be there, yeah. which I think is a bit different than accepting the idea that it should be exclusively Jewish. Um, I think I would define Zionism as um, the belief in the, the right of the state of Israel to exist and to govern itself and the right of Jewish people to, you know, call it their homeland and, ha um, and live there. But I also believe it's, you know, it's multicultural, it's kind of open for everyone, it's not just a Jewish state as in only Jews can be there, or have a right to be there. I think Zionists, they came from uh, Khazarian Empire, I think. Um, they, I think they converted to Judaism away. And before they, they are pagans, they, yeah. they worship, I don't know, and they convert to Judaism, I think in 7th century or when. Um, and they call themselves Jew. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, uh, for me, this is Zionism. You know what I mean? Um, have, have you ever met one? You are one of them. I am one of them. <laughs> I met a lot. Yeah, I met a lot. To me, it's an, uh, a political movement uh, which they want to establish the so called uh, the big Israel in the Middle East. Um, and this is as a technical meaning, but uh, literally... What's the big Israel? Is that the Israel that's there today? That they claim the land to be for them and the, the, the chosen people. But uh, you said the big Israel. What does the big Israel mean? The, the big country that, that everyone should be, should, should be live and serve them. So with as its well current as, borders or, or a bigger Israel than the In fact, it starts from there till between the Nile and uh, the Frat in Iraq. Okay. Um, firstly, would you be able to explain to me and the camera what is Zionism? Uh, from what I heard of it, uh, it's, you know, uh, all I know, uh, I think it's a concept that was made popular by uh, Bob Marley, right? Okay. Uh, and, um, you know, uh, a re reggae artist. Uh, from what I know of it, it's a religion, um, it's the religion of Rastafari's. Uh, and, 
you know, um, I think it has to, something to do with uh, Judaism somehow. Right. Zionism is not a representation of Orthodox Judaism. Zionism is more atheist secular Jews who kind of hijack the religion and just to fulfill their political agenda and further it. And what is that political agenda? I'm not really sure what it is, but from what I know, and I don't know if these are conspiracy theories or not, they weren't happy with the fact that a lot of the Jews were living in Europe, etc. and that, and they wanted their own Jewish state. So they kind of convinced other Jews to go back to Israel. And um, that's where the whole issue is. Because I am aware that like before World War II in the 1930s, a lot of Jews, especially even in Brooklyn, were against the idea of going back there until Messiah comes. Yeah. And that. So, um, that, from what I know, is I don't know too deep, so I don't want to say something that sounds stupid, but that's all I know. Have you ever met a Zionist? Um, I'm not sure, I doubt it. And so this most basic concept it is what you're saying, it's the belief that Jews have a right to live in that region, in what they'd call their ancestral homeland? Yeah. It's my ancestral yeah. homeland, by the way, I'm a Cohen. You're I Cohen? I the camera, yeah. Soon. Yeah, I confirmed it three, four weeks back as well. You're Cohen, yeah, so I'm you're, Cohen, you're, yeah. you're... Yeah, you're, my people are from uh, Afghanistan, the Patans, Pashtun. Pashtun. We've had traditions for centuries that we are from Israel, uh, we're Israelite, but I finally got my DNA tested. Uh, recently and it confirmed the tradition so it ain't like old ladies tales <laughs> that's um, incredible yeah and so as a Cohen and yeah. as a Muslim yeah do you support the rights of the Jews to have a, a homeland in that area <coughs> I don't have an issue with them living there like they were living there in the past but what's going on now and that in it, um, I don't really want to comment on yeah that. As far as I know, um, Zionism is um, an organization in a sense that got come under the umbrella of uh, Judaism, although they don't have the organic beliefs in a sense and have manipulated it to their advantage to try and control the world. Okay, and have you ever met anyone who was a Zionist or who is a Zionist? No, I've not met anyone that's... I've met, I've listened to people that I feel have Zionist beliefs but I don't know if they would class themselves as a Zionist. Okay, and what's your view on a Jewish state in the Middle East, on Israel being a Jewish state? Um, I was under the impression that under, if you're, I think it's an Orthodox Jew, that you believe that you shouldn't have a state. Okay. That was what my impression was. Okay. So to have a state goes against the fundamental beliefs of Judaism. So Zionism just means the belief that Jews should return and be living in the land of Israel. Are you a Zionist? No. Um, Though I would say that um, different levels, um, on a religious level, I um, await the day when the Messiah comes and we will return to Zion in the way that God wills us to return. And I do not believe in secular Zionism or in Zionism. I am ideologically opposed to it. However, I'm not part of or, or will not affiliate with any of the Muslims who ask me and I, I'm not part of their struggle because when talking politically, I'm, I am pro-Zionist politically because I think they are fair and just, broadly speaking. I'm not saying uh, no injustice has ever happened to Arabs, probably some injustice have, has happened, but um, broadly speaking, Zionism, the political part is very fair and in fact it's the, the Arabs, uh, so-called Palestinians, who are against peace and who are against uh, any kind of solution. I would only see all the Jews slash Zionists in the sea. Well, I believe Zionism is uh, it's the religion of the Jew Jews. And have you ever met a Zionist? I don't believe so. Okay. Not that he's been identified as a Zionist. Yeah. And then, um, do you support the existence of a Jewish homeland in the Middle East? Yes, absolutely. Excellent. Uh, yeah. I mean, when you say Jewish empire, is that... Uh, not an empire, a country, basically Israel. Oh, do yes. you support the right of Israel to exist? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. The, the nation of Israel is essential to, to the Middle East. It's part of the Middle East and, and should remain part of the Middle East. Zionists is, uh, I don't know where they come from, but uh, they come to land which not uh, belong to them, which is Palestine, belong to Palestine people. And 
that's what I know. <laughs> no. Yeah. So, what is Zionism? Zionism is alienating yourself from others. Okay, and have you ever met a Zionist? Uh, not that I'm aware of, no. And what I'm going to ask now is going to sound a little bit weird in context yeah. to what you've just said. But do you support the idea of Jews having a homeland in the Middle East? Ooh, heritage stuff. Uh, as long as it's equally shared, so I know there's got an awkward history, that land. And I know people have been trying to help it, but... I suppose, yes, without being forceful. Yeah. Just believe in being human before anything else. We may have our differences, but we are still all the same in one way or another. I agree with that. Don't put ideology beliefs such as being the chosen above all others before anything else. And is that it's what Zionism means, being the chosen above all others? Well, it looks it, especially if you look up Menachem Begin, he kind of reminds me of someone else with a moustache, doesn't he? Who, who's that? Who does he remind you of? Well, isn't it the guy that everybody thinks is the worst person that ever lived? I don't know, who is the worst person that ever lived? Well, if I were to ask a Jew like you, you'd think it's Hitler. Yeah. I think there's a lot of people that have existed worse than him, but that's another story. Just walk back because I'm making a lot of noise. Um, so, you're, so you're saying that Menachem Begin reminds you of Hitler? Well, yeah. So did he kill millions of Arabs? He killed thousands of them, or at least hundreds. But I can tell you one Jew who did kill millions of people, Lazar Kokanovich in the Soviet Union. And who, who is he? I've never heard of this Stalin's right-hand man. He was a Zionist and a communist, back to back. Didn't Stalin call Jews um, the cosmopolitan bourgeoisie and throw them out of the Soviet Russia and throw them into gulags if they supported Zionism? Yeah, there's that theory, but there were a lot of Jews that are still surrounding Stalin and continued in the Soviet Union beforehand. So, can I just have a definition, because we're talking about Zionism. What, what does Zionism mean in its simplest form? It means... It's, it's a political ideology. But in terms of an ideology, so the Nazi ideology was the belief that the Aryans are the superior race and making Germany strong, and there are certain, there's, there's a definition of different ideologies. What's the ideology of Zionism? Well, it, actually, there's a lot of similarity by the looks of it. But look, I'm only going to give you a debate. I'm not okay. here to spread any hate because of our differences. Listen, you're human like you and me. I just hope, just treat others the way you're treated. Okay, okay, thank you. Have you ever met a Zionist? I don't think I really want to. Okay. I respect you as a fellow human being, not as anything else. Okay, thank you. Um, it's the kind of ideology behind Jewish people wanting to have their own state that was kind of developed in reference to the Holocaust. Um, Jewish people have been sort of like maligned and exploited in lots of different areas across Europe. It felt like the only way they could have self-determination was by having their own political state. And um, have you ever met a Zionist? I don't know. I don't ask people whether they're Zionists, usually. <laughs> Zionism is basically uh, the Jews that were dispersed around the world, uh, remembering what it's like being Jewish, remembering what it's like Israel, and everyone working together to uh, make once again, create once again the Holy Land of Israel Jewish. Would you say that you're a Zionist? Uh, of course I am, I'm a soldier as well. Would you be able to explain please what Zionism is? Gosh, Zionism um, is a Jewish understanding of themselves coming from Mount Zion in um, Jerusalem, um, the very special place and in the chosen city, King David, buried in, in Zion. Um, and it's a, a sense of Jewish consciousness as being the chosen people of God um, and that includes um, being given a land um, by God um, to live in, um, which is, is of course um, now seen as the state of Israel. So Zionism perhaps, um, part of it at any rate, is the desire to uh, reclaim the land um, that has been lost um, for the Jewish people and to live there. Okay. Zionism is the belief that Jews have a promised homeland in Palestine and that God promised them this land and it is theirs and they should think they're allowed to fight for it and do whatever it takes to keep it, basically. And have you ever met a Zionist? Yeah. Okay, and um, do you support that idea? I support 
but I support the idea of Jews having a homeland if that's what they want. Yeah. I just don't think it should be at the expense of the rights of others. And so, so would you support, say, a two-state solution? I pr I'd prefer if it was a one-state solution because I believe that people can coexist. But um, realistically, maybe a two-state solution would be necessary. But personally, I think people should learn to coexist and to make use of the land like they have together. And I think it's really useful for our viewers to know that you mentioned at the beginning you're actually Palestinian. Yeah, I'm half Palestinian. Yeah. <laughs> Zionism is to live in a special country like Israel in peace and to work for God and for to work for your family and to earn your money peacefully. And would you say that you're a Zionist? Yes, I live in Israel. I work I live in the desert of Israel. I make the desert bloom like our parents <laughs> have done, like Abraham Avinu came from Haran to Israel and I follow the, the dream and do it in the middle of the desert and grow vegetables and hope for peace. Um, and where and do you support a two-state solution? I believe that we need to find solution because we have a lot of neighbors. We need to find solution and we can need to separate the land and like all the other country that find the good solution to do it we must do it and we i love my neighbor i don't hate anyone i want to live in peace and to grow my own child child in israel in peacefulness